In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create some 3D looking text in Photo P. This is an updated 2022 tutorial. This is going to be different than my other 3D tutorials and I think this is the best yet. So definitely stick around and watch till the end. Alright, so once you're in Photo P, all you want to do is have some text ready to go. It doesn't have to have anything on it, it could just be blank text. Right here you can see I have a bunch of crazy things going on in my text, that's just because I'm doing this for another tutorial as well. So basically once your text is ready to go, all you want to do is click on that text layer over here on the right side, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it, and now click on the one that's below the top one, so this one right here, it'd be the copy without the number after it. Hit Ctrl, Alt, and T to free transform it. Now you'll see a bunch of boxes popped up. Go ahead and grab one of them at one of the corners with your left click and hold shift while you drag to shrink it. Now just click anywhere in the middle to center it up. Once that red line pops up, you're good to go. And now move it down a little bit like that. Okay. You can move it down even more if you wanted to make it extra 3D. Okay. So now what you want to do is double click on that layer. Let's just rename these. So I'm just going to go one and two so I can just call them by that name. Okay. So now what you want to do is click on your second layer right here. Go to color overlay and choose a shade of your text that's darker. So if it's like red, choose a dark red. If it's green, choose a dark green. So like this. Okay. Hit okay. And you're ready to move on to the next part. So what we're going to do now is we are going to zoom in somewhere. You could zoom in wherever you want. I'm going to start on the left side. So if you don't know how to zoom, click on your zoom tool on the left, or I think it's control Z as well. Just left click and hold it down while you drag and it'll zoom in on a specific spot. It's really handy. So once you do that, just zoom in somewhere to start, go over to your pin tool on the left side or control P I believe. And now, Go up to fill right here, click on that color box. It'll drop down another menu where you'll click on this one and this will pop up. All you want to do is just click on the second layer to copy that color. So it's the same. And now what you want to do is just connect the corners of the text to the background text. So like this, left click, left click and then click somewhere up here. So it just connects up there and you can just keep doing that for all the corners that aren't connected. So let's see, this one looks finished. These all look pretty decent. Let's see. Yeah, right here. And if this happens where it just connects it to the other one, don't worry about it. Just hit control Z and just click off of that layer and click back onto shape one to deselect it. I'm sure there's another way, but that's how I do it. So just click off and then click back on. Or you don't have to click back on that one. You could just click off of it. All right. So just keep doing this for the whole thing. And on the rounded ones, you just want to hold left click and drag until it makes like a curve. So I'm sure you're getting the hang of it. It's pretty easy to do. And I'll show you how to make it look even better in a little bit. So just keep doing that throughout the whole thing. You can already see, wait, I actually need to fix this over here. Cause this one's not connected. Okay. Perfect. Sometimes it's easy to miss one. So look for them. All right, we are done. So now it should look like this, which looks super cool. Now what you want to do is click on the top shape, hold shift, and then click on the bottom shape. It'll select all of them. Now right click on any of them and merge layers. So now it's just one whole layer. Now do the same thing with the second text layer. So now the whole shadow or 3D, whatever is uh, the same layer. So it makes it really easy to work with. And now I'm going to show you something else you can do to make it look even better. 
So now what you want to do is go down here to the bottom right of your screen, click on the new layer button, and you'll see a new layer popped up. Now go to your brush tool on the left side of your screen, right up here. It might be hidden by another icon, so just right click on it to see which one it is. Go ahead and click on that. Now go down here to these two color boxes and click on the top one. Now just choose as wide as you can get. Hit OK. I'd turn my opacity down a bit, but that's up to you. I'm going to turn it down to like 65. And you can resize it up here. I recommend resizing it and then turning the hardness all the way down like that. Or you can hold alt, right click and then drag right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller. And then I think it's down to make it harsher and up to make it softer. Okay. So once you get it the size you want, like this, you can hold left click. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Right click on that new layer that you made and make it a clipping mask. So now when you draw or brush, it'll only affect that layer. So just do some highlights on the text that you made. You can resize it for some other spots. It gives it a really cool look. So just take your time with it until it looks like how you want it to look. All right, so now what you can do is make sure that layer is selected and go up here to the blending options and you can choose different ones to see what it looks like. I think overlay looks the best. So I prefer doing that over anything else. And now you can see it has a cool effect. Like it really makes it look even more 3D than it did before. And that's really all you have to do. I'm sure there's some other things you can do to make it even better, but this is what I prefer doing because it's fast and easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.